What's up guys, it's uh, Brian from the Eerie Better Beer Bureau coming back at you. We're gonna do a uh, old school. Uh, we've kind of gotten away from some of these and uh, done a little bit more on the live action on Facebook. Um, but uh, we're gonna do a, a blind on uh, Pyle and uh, Maury. So uh, today, uh, lucky enough that, I know it's been out for a hot minute, um, but we were given the opportunity to do Black Clouds Mexican Chocolate. Um, it's an 11% uh, Imperial Stout, and uh, our buddy out of Pittsburgh, uh, you guys have heard us talk about him a few times, Todd. Um, he's going to, uh, he's graciously gotten me some and uh, sent it up, and I just got it on Friday. So uh, we're gonna, we're gonna get into this, and uh, I'm gonna bring uh, the guys out, and we're gonna see how they, uh, how they do with it. It's about chocolate. Yeah, I do too. Like Hershey's chocolate syrup. At first I thought I got coffee and now I'm getting mostly chocolate. Mm. There might be some faint coffee in there. Hmm. Give it a swirl. I mean this is a uh, three different smelled at three different times, I got three different aromas. Yeah, now I almost feel like I'm getting a little kiss of vanilla. Well, there's a warplane we're Yeah, no, I, I, I feel like I am getting vanilla. At first, it was all chocolate, like you said. Yeah, yeah. D-Day here in yeah. Conian, so we got some <laughs> literally D-Day. <laughs> it's not like us saying it's literally a yeah. D-Day yeah. reenactment. It smells really good. I'm trying to try to pull out and see if there's any barrel into it, but yeah, no, I'm not getting a lot of barrel on the nose. A lot of sweetness, a chocolate, yep. Yep. maybe touch a roast, whether that's like a coffee or just a malt. If it's not, if if it's not vanilla, I feel like I'm getting a lactose sweetness, but it's to me, I, I feel like I'm detecting one or the other. I picked up on cinnamon. Really? Yeah. Give her a swirl. Yeah, I did. I picked up on cinnamon that time. I'm not getting cinnamon. Maybe, maybe I will on the taste. I, I don't. With the, between the chocolate and the roast, and now maybe, maybe a little bit of cinnamon. It's just it's actually quite a complex aroma. Yeah. No, I keep, I keep getting little nuances yes. of things. Cheers. Yeah. There's me. I'd you know, buzz in the tower. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a fly. At least now, negative ghost rider. Hmm. I get chocolate on the taste. Yep. Um, again, I'm kind of like, I don't know if it's fooling me. It's just the roasted yeah. malt or something. But or I, coffee, I feel yeah. like I get a little bit of coffee as well. Like I said, it's not it's not so much that I wouldn't be surprised if it was just from the malt, but mm -hmm. I, there's definitely a roastiness in here. Um, and I'm not, don't think I'm really pulling out mm -hmm. anything, any bourbon or any barrel yet. I'm not, personally, not yeah. on the taste. Um, at first, I, I uh, that last sip, I maybe thought I tasted a little cinnamon. I really wasn't getting it, but on that last sip, I might agree with you. This is really interesting how just the flavor that keep or you're tricking me into it. Yeah, I know that. <laughs> I sent pile of text. No. <laughs> yeah. How would you guys hmm. uh, since you know, do you feel like it's a low ABV? Do you feel I mean I would say to me it seems around 8. Exactly what I was thinking 8. Yeah, you know, it doesn't I mean, like seem... on the aroma it didn't seem like real boozy on the aroma and it's still not on yeah, it doesn't seem double digits to me, but, the, cause but the mouth feel. I've been fooled by that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and yeah, it, it has a nice mouth feel, but it's not its not overly thick. But it's not overly thin either. No, you wouldn't say it was a five or six. It's like a silky mouth feel. Yeah, yeah. You know, to me, I, I'm guessing that yeah. it's a Imperial Stout that's on the low side of the ABV, around eight, like I said. Um, that's kind of where I'm guessing it's at. And I'm going to rate it according to what I'm thinking it is. Mm -hmm. I could be completely wrong. Um, I think there, I'm not exactly sure what adjuncts are in here because I'm getting, uh, yeah. I think chocolate is one of them. Um, you know, I think it's a pretty good stout. I'm going to give it a four. I'm, I'm, I'm even pushing a little, you know, two, four, four, two, five. But I think I'm going to stick with the four. What do you think? Okay. Uh, I was going between four and four, two, five. Um, I'm at a four, two, five. 
um, the, the nice, whatever those adjuncts are, the basic two I'm getting is is the chocolate, mm -hmm. that roastiness, yep, and and again that cinnamon. There's just that that cinnamon every once in a while pops up. Now, right now I'm sipping on it, and I'm not getting cinnamon. Me so neither. It disappears. This from is me. pretty intriguing. I, yeah, no, this it's... is pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm thinking like eight, eight and a half percent stout. You know, just by the that silk slick mouthfeel, uh, pretty tasty. So, I, but I, just because of the flavors of the adjuncts, I am going to bump it up to four two five. Okay. Because I'm enjoying this. So. Okay. All right, Brian. You're allowed to pull the lid, or you got something to say? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, you got. You guys can pull the lid. Uh, I think you're going to be kind of surprised. Okay. okay. Mexican chocolate. Okay, so there's cinnamon in it. We've and chocolate. Uh, <laughs> we've actually reviewed. Wow, eleven percent. Yes, that's why I asked. Like, I really man. didn't pick up any booze on the nose, man. man. Like, I mean. Nothing really jumped out. I, now I will say, as we were drinking it, it reminded me of like a dead sleep from these guys. Yeah. Like, and that's right. why those I think are around maybe eight percent. That's what it was tasting right. like to me and feeling like to me. But eleven percent. Let and me guess, Todd. Todd, yeah, Todd was kind enough to send it, and uh, he figured since we've reviewed every single other one of these, Hell yeah, why not keep it going? Do you know what the adjuncts are off the top of your head? Or? I don't. Okay. I was just gonna see. I was posted on Mexican here, but... generally either like cinnamon or and or hot peppers. I was gonna say I got the chocolate Mexican chocolate. Okay, and the cinnamon. I thought, well, I'm waiting for the hot pepper now. You know, yeah, which I never got. No, so I'm not if getting that. If it's in there, I'll be shocked. No, but, yeah, I'm yeah, not getting, getting that. cinnamon and chocolate. Yeah. It's tasty. it's tasty. Definitely hides the ABV well, yeah. like I said. But anyway, it does have cocoa, okay, uh, so. vanilla, cinnamon, and a okay. and a hint of pepper. Okay, hints of all right. Pepper. I kind of get well, like we that. We kind of mentioned all those. Uh, you yeah. know, I got vanilla. You got the cinnamon. Yeah. Um. So and this is a nice one I mean, to do. The line. Yeah, the chocolate's it, a really big like oh, for, for, forerunner in this oh, beer. Oh, for sure. Yeah, for and sure. I feel like it kind of like. Mute things out. Now, that being said, I don't know what kind of peppers are in it. It doesn't say, it just says a hint of pepper. Yeah. But it as we sit here, like that faint. little bit of cinnamon and that little bit of pepper, like I feel like there's a little tingle on the tongue as far as, on mine, like right yeah. now. Mm -hmm. Not like, uh, hey, it's too hot for most people. Yeah. Oh, no, but, no, no, no. Definitely um, not. I think it's I think it's really well done. Oh, no, it's tasty. Good yeah, one to do good. blind, too. We, yeah. We, you know, Semi local. We yeah. So, so thanks for this one, Brian. Yeah. Until thanks, next Todd. time, guys. Todd. Thanks, Todd. Cheers. Cheers.